Now, we will introduce the global timing of playbacks. There are little difference between QList playback and Q playback. First of all, we will introduce the timing of QList playback. For example, the playback tool is a QList when they like that. If I want to edit its time, I can press Edit Playback and number 2. There are four types of global time. Delay in, fade in, delay out, and fade out. About these four times, delay in and delay out times will start together. Fade-in time starts when delay in finished. Fade-out time starts when delay out finished. If they are set in the same time, the playback priority one delay in and fade in effect. The fade-out time is only used on dimming channels. It will be used as delay in time if the coming step doesn't have dimming off effect. We can set all steps with the same time if we select them all together. Of course, we can set each step with its own time, one by one. The QList playback with its default time fade in one second and fade out one second. For example, now I want to set all steps together. I can select all steps. I want to fade in 2 seconds. Then select fade in, enter 2, then enter. Now, when I fade in the playback, we can see it runs with a new time. Fade in 2 seconds. At this moment, if I want the first step, stay there for 2 seconds, then fade in the second step. Then, I can set the delay in time on the second step. For example, I select the second step, delay in, 2 seconds, enter. So now, we fade in the playback again, and we can see when the first step finished. If you stay there for 2 seconds, then fade in the second step. Besides, there is dimming off effect on the second step. If we want to finish all LTP channels, then fade out the dimming channel. We should set the delay out time. And please note that, because delay times will run together, we should set a longer time on delay out. Otherwise, there will be no effect. For example, why right now delay in and fade in time on the second step totally runs 4 seconds. If we set the delay out time with 4, then we can see on the second step there is no change. If we need it stay 2 seconds, then dim it off. Then we should set the delay out time in 6. So now, we can see it runs with the new time when the first step finished, then stay there 2 seconds and fade in 2 seconds. After that, stay 2 seconds and fade out. These are the times for QList playback.
about timing of Q playback. For example, the playback one is a Q playback like that. We can edit time number one to edit its time. There are three global times for Q playback: delay in, fade in, and fade out times. We don't have delay out time for Q playback. When a queue playback fades in, delay in starts immediately. Fade in starts when delay in finished. Fade out time starts when the playback fades out. For example now, I want to set some times on it. For example, I want it delay in 1 second, then use 5 seconds to fade in and use 2 seconds to fade out so now when I fade in this playback it will have 1 second delay and 5 seconds to fade in and when I fade out this playback it will use 2 seconds to fade out these are the timing of Q playback